So I just got done watching Zack Snyder's Justice League and I am amazed. <laughs> it took me a few days to finally you know, get through the whole movie because I've been busy in between and yeah, uh, I gotta love time. My thoughts are this is definitely better than the theatrical cut from 2017. I guess consider this a little quick thoughts or mini review for the movie. <laughs> so it's been a long time since I've seen the theatrical version of Justice League when the one time I saw it on the big screen. <laughs> so I can't tell you exactly like with the scene arrangement and what's taken from the theatrical cut and included in this version and yeah. Well, there's some stuff I can point out, like Cyborg's backstory and extra stuff with Barry Allen, the Flash, um, especially a creepy part where he's saving this girl that he's interested in. I don't remember her name. As he's saving her, he does some caressing to her hair or something and to her face. A hot dog pops up randomly. <laughs> but you see what he does with the hot dog after, but still... Just, what was the... <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen the movie yet, I'm going to be putting spoilers in, so... I guess I should have put a spoiler warning ahead at the very beginning. But... Whoops! <laughs> so, you've been warned. <laughs> yeah, with Victor slash Cyborg and his backstory when he lost his mother and almost lost his life, and what his father was able to do with his work to bring uh, Victor back and tugs at the heartstring man <laughs> character development and time spent with the characters it flows together pretty well in this the movie being four hours long <laughs> I didn't get bored I believe the plot of the story is still the same with Batman gathering everyone up and forming the Justice League and yeah to take down uh, Steppenwolf the villain and stop him from bringing Darkseed yeah what Zack Snyder did with Steppenwolf's design and adding the in the detailing with the spike armor and I don't remember that in the theatrical cut at least I don't think again it's been a long time since I've seen that other version <laughs> oh to bring up about the action the action was badass man each character in the Justice League, their moments, Wonder Woman, Batman, Aquaman, The Flash, Cyborg, Superman, oh, they all just amazing. <laughs> now there's the slow motion, of course, that's used in parts, and slow motion in movies, it can be distracting or annoying, but with this one, a lot of the slow motion was pretty cool. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this one moment when Superman just shows up out of nowhere to stop Steppenwolf and, you know, get in front of him and stop him from getting at Cyborg with his weapon, and the weapon goes into Superman, and Superman says, not impressed. Like, yeah, and he, and he just, right into Steppenwolf. Man, that was badass. <laughs> I love the parts when the Flash is running super fast and the electricity build up. <laughs> And when he saves people too, awesome. And the parts when Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, as they're going up against Steppenwolf, when they're taking out his goons too. Is that the right word? <laughs> his army. <laughs> Damn. The way the scenes play out, they get intense. Oh. I'm doing some geeking out here in the moments with Batman. Wow. <laughs> and uses the guns <laughs> to bring up the music. I love the music in this movie. Two of my favorite scores was Wonder Woman's theme. <laughs> Or the Superman score? Oh, yes. <laughs> awesome. 
awesome. And other points of the score, when they were used for the emotional moments or like the more intense moments, just the way it builds up. <sighs> Especially with the action scenes. Wah! <laughs> oh yeah, Superman with the black suit in this. Freaking cool. The shot where he flies right into space and holds on that shot for a bit. The music. <sighs> there is so much else to dissect from this movie and I can't do it justice. It's blowing my mind! <laughs> Last thing I'll bring up is Jared Leto's Joker. He shows up at the end for just the one scene and is part of the new footage that was shot. <laughs> it's the nightmare sequence with Bruce Wayne slash Batman having a nightmare, a premonition of what's to come in the future, uh, I guess it's set up for the sequels, if they ever happen. <laughs> I hope so. And the way the future looks, it just looks nasty and just ugly. I guess it's Superman looking for Batman because Batman made some mistakes. Ooh. <laughs> and then Jared Leto in the sequence when he shows up as Batman looks behind him sees him sitting right there and the dialogue between the Joker and Batman amazing <laughs> and the we live in a society line that was used in the trailer that's not in here <laughs> And damn my memory I forgot what he says but then he says isn't that right Batman <laughs> I, I, if I can remember, there goes my bad memory, um, he taunts at Batman to delve into the guilt and other factors and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's just a great scene. And the Joker's laugh, he does a little bit of the, ah, ah. In final conclusion, the movie, I enjoyed it. Zack Snyder did an excellent job. He's got my vote. <laughs> we live in a society where Zack Snyder gets criticized for odd choices he makes in his movies sometimes. They're not wrong, he does odd choices. <laughs> Despite that, we need more Justice League movies with Zack Snyder. Isn't that right, Batman, or people watching? <laughs> that would be cool to see more Justice League movies to fulfill more of his vision and his story. Yes, if only Warner Brothers and DC would pull their heads out their asses and greenlit this. Never know what the future holds. Never say never. Anyway, signing off. Stop.